Hello everyone. So let us learn about viscosity in this video. So when the body moves, like a, a person walking or a car going, or whatever, it has to move over a surface. That is a body that is in contact with it. When we move forward, the environment that is surrounding us relative to our movement is going backwards. Now this surrounding just over the surface of the body that is with contact with the surface of the body gives us a resistance force to move forward. The same way uh, when there is a fluid flows, it flows over the another fluid member, right, a layer. So we call it as layer of fluid. So there is a fluid layer flowing over another layer of fluid. So this layer of fluid over which the other layer of fluid is flowing offers a resistance. It uh, resists the flow of that layer. This resistance is known as viscosity. So this resistance offered for a fluid flow is known as viscosity. Now this diagram explains you the Newton's law of viscosity which helps us in finding the shear stress offered by the viscous fluid. So tau is equal to mu du by dy, where tau is your shear stress, mu is the coefficient of viscosity, dy is the thickness of your layer, and du is the change in velocity. Now let us concentrate on du. So if there are two layers, the first layer moving with velocity u1 and the second layer with u2, the difference in their velocity is du. So using the equation tau is equal to mu du by dy or rearranging it as mu is equal to tau dy by du, we can either find the shear stress offered by the viscous fluid or viscosity of the fluid by knowing the shear stress offered. So this relates the uh, condition of two fluids with different viscosity. Water is having low viscosity when you pour it, it flows very easily whereas when oil is poured with the high viscosity, so it stay there, right? The flow is very minimal. So viscosity helps in uh, the fluid to be used as a lubricant as in your, your vehicles where we use as a lubricating oil. Thank you. Happy learning.